For UN troops who have been forced to watch this country tear itself apart, the end game is approaching. This will be their last winter before handing over to NATO troops, possibly as early as the beginning of December. But the chill in the air has as much to do with the Dayton Accord as with winter. People in this Serb-held Sarajevo suburb fear for their lives in a united capital. This man says President Milosevic has betrayed the Serb nation. He wants changes in Sarajevo when the Accord is ratified. But the Bosnian foreign minister says the Serb side not only accepted, but promoted reunification. The Sarajevo arrangement is one of the most complex and difficult aspects of the overall Dayton agreement. And uh, attempts to renege or in any way redefine that arrangement, I think, would bring about the entire Dayton agreement to collapse. In an attempt to avoid such a collapse, a Serb member of the Bosnian state presidency, Mirko Pijanovic, called for international help in preventing a mass exodus of fearful Serbs when the Bosnian-Croat Federation takes control. Among his suggestions to lessen the fear, a Bosnian government declared amnesty for soldiers who fought on the Serb side. But it is not just Serbs who fear. Followers of rebel Muslim Fikret Abdic refuse to return to Bosnia. They fear Croatia, a country that does not want them, less than a return home.